Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about a very important tool used in the genetic engineering and that is an enzyme known as the restriction endonuclease enzyme. Now the question arises that these are a type of the endonucleases. Okay. These are a type of endonucleases. But why they are called as the restriction endonucleases? So they are called as the restriction endonuclease because the cutting of the DNA at a specific location become possible with the discovery of the restriction enzymes. Means if we want to cut the DNA at a specific locations, then it became possible because of the discovery of these restriction enzymes. Okay, and because they are having the capability to cut the DNA at a specific locations, and hence they are also called as molecular scissors. Means they are the scissors of the biology. They are called as the molecular scissors or they can be called it as molecular scalpels because they cut the DNA at specific locations. Now have a look at how do they cut the DNA, right? So these enzymes cut the DNA at a specific nucleotide sequence means a restriction endonuclease enzyme will first inspect the entire length of the DNA and after recognizing a particular sequence, it will cut the DNA. So what I want to say that these enzymes cuts the DNA at specific nucleotide sequence means they first inspect the length of the DNA and then they recognize a specific nucleotide sequence. This specific base sequence, which is recognized by the restriction and nucleus enzyme is called as the recognition sequence is called as a recognition sequence okay now we can also say that each restriction endonuclease enzyme recognize a four to six nucleotide sequence i have just said now that uh, after inspecting the length of the dna the restriction endonuclease enzyme will will recognize a specific nucleotide sequence so this specific nucleotide sequence will be having four to six nucleotides okay so each restriction endonuclease enzyme recognize a four to six recognize a four to six nucleotide sequence on the DNA and this sequence is called as what the recognition sequence or the palindrome nucleotide sequence again I am repeating that each restriction and nucleus enzyme will recognize a four to six nucleotide, not more than four to six nucleotide, will recognize a four to six nucleotide sequence on the DNA. And this sequence will be called as the recognition sequence or the palindrome nucleotide sequence. Now the question arises that what is palindrome? So in a couple of minutes, I will be uh, saying you about the, that what is a palindrome, okay? So after recognizing means it has recognized a four to six nucleotide sequence. So after recognizing a specific sequence on the DNA, the restriction endonuclease enzyme will impose a cut in both the strands of the double helix at specific points at specific points in their sugar phosphate backbones means after recognizing a four to six nucleotide sequence, the molecular scissor or the restriction endonuclease enzyme will cut the DNA, right? It will be cutting both the strands of the DNA at specific points in their sugar phosphate backbones, okay? But just now you have seen that recognition sequence was also called as a palindrome nucleotide sequence. Now, first of all, you must know that what is palindrome then only you will be able to know about the palindrome nucleotide sequence so what is a palindrome in general I am just now not talking about the DNA what is in general a palindrome what is in general a palindrome and then we'll be discussing about what is the palindrome in the DNA okay so what is a palindrome palindrome is nothing it is a group of the letters it is a group of letters that form same words when read both forward and backward direction means I want to say these are the group of letters a palindrome is a group of letters 
that form the same word when read both in forward direction or backward direction means if you are reading in forward direction that is left to right or in backward direction that is left to right right it seems to be same means say for malayalam now malayalam is a group of letters okay now this group of letter is actually a palindrome why because it is forming the same word when read in forward to backward direction or backward to forward direction so this group of letter is a palindrome say for malayalam m a l a y a l a m now read from this side m a l a y a l a m similarly madam m a d a m m a d a m so these words are actually the palindrome but why we have used the term here palindrome nucleotide sequence what does the palindrome means in the dna so the palindrome in dna is a sequence the palindrome the palindrome in dna is a sequence of the base pairs that read same on the two strand that read same on the two strands when the orientation of reading is kept the same now what is palindrome here the palindrome is the in the dna is the sequence of the base pairs that read same on the two strand that read same on the two strand when orientation of reading is kept same means you have to read both the strands of the dna either in 5 prime to 3 prime direction or 3 prime to 5 prime, five prime direction now say for i have written a palindrome sequence here right say for g a a t t c and this is c t t a a g this is a palindrome sequence now these two sequences will be read the same on both the strand if the orientation of reading is kept same means if i am reading this sequence in 5 prime to 3 prime direction then i have to read the sequence in the second strand in the same direction only 5 prime to 3 prime say for i am reading 5 prime to 3 prime in this direction g a a t t c now if i have to read the same sequence right on this strand then i have to read it in 5 prime to 3 prime direction only see here g a a t t c if i have read the sequence in 3 prime to 5 prime direction it will not be a palindrome say for this is g a t t c i have read in 5 prime to 3 prime direction but if i am reading in 3 prime to 5 prime direction it will be not a palindrome c t t a g but if i am keeping the orientation of reading same in both the strands then it will be a palindrome say for g a a t t c i have read from 5 prime to 3 prime direction now again in the second strand i am reading it in 5 prime 3 prime direction i have not changed the orientation so see here g a a t t c in 5 prime to 3 prime direction now here from here 5 prime to 3 prime direction that is g a a t t c okay so therefore this is a palindrome sequence so the palindrome in dna is a sequence of the base pairs that read same on the two strand when an orientation of reading is kept same means the following sequence say for this is a sequence the following sequence reads the same on the two strand in 5 prime to 3 prime direction it it seems to be same only in 5 prime to 3 prime direction or it can it it this statement will be also true if i have read this in 3 prime to 5 prime direction suppose i am reading 3 prime to 5 prime direction c t t a a g and this also i am reading in 3 prime to 5 prime direction c t t a a g okay now at the last you must also know that restriction endonuclease enzymes were first discovered by a group of three scientists arbor nathans and smith all these three group of scientists are very important because the credit for the discovery of the restriction endonuclease enzyme goes to these group of three scientists and for this purpose they were awarded the nobel prize for the year 1978 so student today we have discussed a small part of the restriction endonuclease enzyme in this video in the next video we will be discussing a lot of things more about the restriction endonuclease enzyme so keep watching my videos thanks a lot if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take